Hello everyone, today we'll cover the vibration analysis in turbo machines. In part C, our focus will be on bearing wear. Let's revisit the table here. In part A, we covered mass imbalance and misalignment, and we covered shaft bow in part B. Part C, we'll delve into bearing wear and other topics. As bearings wear out, machine tends to emit noise. The graph below illustrates the time on the x-axis and the useful life of the bearing on the y-axis. As you could see from this figure, detecting the bearing wear before failure is crucial. Typically, if you look at the vibration measurements at the machine below, vibration tends to trend upward over time. If the large vibration is due to bearing wear, Typically, it cannot be fixed by balancing. So, it is important to monitor the vibration over time and make sure that machine does not catastrophically fail. To prevent failure, it is important to set the warning limit. And establishing initial values is crucial for setting limits such as alarms and warnings. And understanding the rate of increase in vibration is essential. When thresholds are surpassed, a comprehensive vibration analysis is conducted to pinpoint the precise issue and prescribe the maintenance solution. Here is an example of vibration severity according to ISO standards. We'll delve deeper into this ISO spec in a different video. But the table provides an idea of when to inspect the machine upon exceeding vibration thresholds. As you could imagine, the corrective action of bearing wear is to replace the bearings. Here is an example of various type of bearing wear. Some wear can be refurbished. It is important to understand what's behind the premature bearing failure and wear. Here is a list of key factors contributing premature bearing failure. The primary culprit is dirt which causes wear damage inside the bearing. The figures on the right shows the wear damage due to dirt. In such cases, a thin Babbitt surface layer can extend the bearing life. Soft bearing materials like Babbitt have the advantage of embedding particles in the bearing surface. This embedded capability leads to the formation of holes or raised region around the embedded particles. Polymer line pad possess the ability to embed material. As evidenced by the illustration of the polymer thrust bearing with the embedded metallic particles. Let's go back to this list. The misalignment affects the premature bearing failure. And vibration analysis part 1 video covers topic related to misalignment. If you examine bearing wear due to misalignment, the symptoms are polishing pattern on the one side or localized area of the Babbitt surface, localized severe wear, high localized temperature, fatigue failure in diagonally opposed areas in top and bottom halves. The corrective actions involve realigning bearings or adopting misalignment tolerant designs. Let's look into bearing wear due to insufficient lubrication. The damage to the bearing surface often resembles the damage that results from overload. The surfaces can be wiped and the babbits being smeared. Now let's discuss the bearing wear due to overloading. The hydrodynamic bearings relies on a thin lubrication film. An overload can lead to contact between rotating and stationary components which results in temperature increases and potential melting. Here are the photos of bearing damage due to overloading. Overload can lead to severe damage to the bearing as you can see from these photos. Corrective actions involve reassessing the design inputs and loads and reducing the loads and considering higher load bearing design. So far, we covered the major causes of premature bearing failure. To prevent these issues, condition monitoring is crucial. 
Condition monitoring detects early degradation, focusing on bearings designed to fail before the shaft to prevent catastrophic failures. It's a powerful tool for proactively identifying the issue. In part A, we discussed where vibration and temperature sensors should be installed. API 670 specifies sensor locations, emphasizing the importance of accurate condition monitoring. Returning to damaged bearings, numerous companies can fix or refurbish them as shown in this figure. The figures are from Alloy Bearings, a company specialized in this field. Again, early detection of bearing failure can reduce downtime and save money. All right, today we cover the topic related to bearing wear. In the next video, we'll delve into remaining vibration analysis in turbo machines. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos.